Hello good people, this is Mori and as usual I am welcoming you all to ASL BPO. Hope you all are doing well. Today we will be discussing about link building authority. In our last two videos we have discussed about what is link building and its strategies. So let's try to understand what is link building authority. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. Going further, we should understand what is authority is. The concept of authority in link building is based on the idea that the links from high authority websites and pages are more valuable than the links from the low authority sources. When search engines crawl and index websites, they look at the links that lead to these sites. They use this information to figure out how authoritative and relevant a site is for a certain search query. When building links, website owners and SEO professionals often focus on getting links from high authority websites and pages, like those with high domain authority or we say DA or page authorities or PA scores. This is because Links from these sources are believed to carry more weight and contribute more to sites, overall authority and ranking in search results. Here we find two words, domain authority or DA and page authority PA. We will now try to understand what these two mean. Let's first understand what is domain authority. Domain authority or DA is a matrix made by Moz that predicts how well a website will rank on search engine results pages. The metric is based on a logarithm scale that goes from 0 to 100. A website is more likely to rank well on search engine result page if it has a higher score. DA is just one of many ways that search engines figures out how important and relevant a website is. While having a high DA score, can be an indication of a strong website. It does not guarantee high rankings or traffic. In the end, the most important things to do to improve a website search engine, rankings, and to create high quality, relevant content and build a strong backlink profile. Page authority. Let's now talk about what actually page authority is. It is also a metric that is made by Moz. It will predict how well a specific web page is ranking on search engine result pages. It measures the strength of a URL at a page level, not the domain level, like domain authority. It is calculated using an algorithm that takes into account various factors such as the quantity and quality of the inbound links, social media signals and other on-page optimization factors. We have understand what is a DA and a PA. Let's now try to find the difference between these two. As we already aware, Moz developed both DA and PA metrics. There are some difference between them. They are number one, scope of evaluation, DA ranking potential of a website or a domain while PA looks at the ranking of a potential of a single page or URL. Factors are taken into account. DA looks at the things like the number and quality of the inbound links, the age of the domain and how popular the domain is as a whole, while PA looks at the same things at the page level. Score range. Both DA and PA score ranges from 0 to 100, with the higher scores indicating a greater likelihood of ranking on SERPs. However, the average DA score is usually lower than the average PA score as it is more difficult to build domain authority compared to page authority. Is domain authority more important than page authority? Both domain authority and page authority are important ways to measure a website's potential to rank well in search engines. However, their importance depends on the context and goals on the website. DA is more important metric if you are looking at a website's overall ranking. Potential like a long-term SEO strategy or to check out the competition. This is because DA gives you a more complete picture of a website's ranking potential by taking into account things like the number and the quality of inbound links how old the domain is and how popular the domain is overall. On the other hand, 
If you are optimizing individual pages for a specific keywords, then PA is more useful metric. PA helps you to figure out how likely a page is to rank well by looking at things like the number and the quality of inbound links, how relevant and good the content is, and other on-page optimization factors. In the end, you should use both TA and PA together to get a fuller picture of a website's ranking potential and to guide your SEO efforts. Domain authority. Is it a Google ranking factor? The domain authority or DA is not a direct ranking factor that Google uses. As I have already mentioned, DA is a metric developed by Moz, which is a third party tool that estimates the potential of a website or a web page to rank in search engine results pages based on various factors, including its link profile and other SEO metrics. While Google doesn't use Moz DA score in its ranking algorithm, it does use similar factors to determine the relevance and authority of a website or a web page. Google's ranking algorithm takes into account many on-page and off-page factors such as content quality, relevance, user engagement, metrics, backlink profile, and other technical factors to determine a page's ranking position. So. Even though DA is not a direct ranking factor that Google uses, it is still a very important metric that SEO professionals use to figure out how a website or page might rank in search engine results. How to increase domain authority. To increase domain authority, you have to create more backlinks. You can do this in the following ways. To get more people to visit your site, you can offer something that no one else does and give better information than your competitors. You can also collaborate with small businesses through a mutual beneficial partnership. Creating high quality informative and shareable content is crucial to attracting links from other websites. Contact the companies with whom you already have a relationship and see if you can find ways to make each other more visible online. One of the many tactics that you could use is exchanging testimonials. Networking with other bloggers and website owners in your niche is a great way to build a relationship that can lead to a link opportunities. You can reach out to them through social media, email, or even by commenting on their blog. Writing quality guest posts for other websites in your niche can help you earn links back to your website. Make sure you follow the site's rules and that your content is useful and a good quality. Use tools like Moz or Ahrefs to look at the backlinks profiles of your competitors and find sites that link to them that are relevant and trustworthy. This analysis will help you understand what types of links you should aim for and which website you should target. It's important to focus on getting high quality backlinks from authority websites rather than a large number of low quality links. Quality links will have a more significant impact on your TM. Don't buy links or use black hat SEO techniques that can hurt your website's DA and reputation. Remember, increasing your domain authority through our backlink strategies takes time and effort. It's important to be patient and consistent in your efforts to build a high quality backlink profile. I hope you all now know how you can establish a good authority. In case you face any problems, you can comment below and we will describe them. Remember, to establish a good authority, it is necessary to do a SEO audit of your site and it should be done by a good professional. At SLBPO, we do the audit with our experts' hands to help your website's rank. To learn more about our other SEO services, see the description below. That's it for today. We will see you in the next video.